hello friends so in last video we created this add new user page i am going to show you here we created this page now here we are going to display this added user here in this video and then we are going to edit and delete that user so first of all we need to open this page add new user so here you can see this is my add new user page here we need to add new table so open your tables.html and select these things widget content no padding this div select this div so i am going to select this div copy this up to here i am going to show you line number so from this tables.html you have already this file in your admin folder from line number 88 to line number 134 so i just copied and here after this widget content no padding just select this here also i am going to show line number after this widget content just paste here so i am going to paste here so now here we are going to check we got table or not so here you can see we got table here but we need one more space so just i am going to cut this div and add after here here yeah just paste it and here you can see i got some spaces here so now it looks good now here you can see i paste this div so here we are going to remain this tr this is the heading tr but here in body we are going to keep only this one tr so i am going to remove this another tr for right now and we don't need this tr class yeah so this is fine we are going to check here yeah this is fine now we are going to give heading yes per our need so first name last name username we are not going to display password so first name last name username and role so here first name then i am going to give here last name then username then i am going to give role yeah so here we are going to give link for edit and now here we are going to give heading for delete yeah so we provide here heading now here we need to display these things from our table from mysql so here you can see this is our mysql table from here we are going to display that so for that here we need to write select query so i start php then dollar res is equal to mysql i underscore query then select star from and here we need to give our table name user underscore registration then while dollar row is equal to mysqli underscore ph underscore array and here i am going to give dollar res yeah this is fine now i am going to complete php here i am going to start php and in between these i am going to cut these and i am going to paste here yeah now here it go dollar row and here we are going to give our column name so first name i am going to copy this paste here first name last name then i am going to give your username then here we are going to delete this plus and here i am going to give role 
here i need to check yeah role and one more thing we have to give and that is status so i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste here i'm going to write here status so here also we need to give one heading status and now we need to give two link for edit and delete so href here edit copy paste now here i am going to give delete yeah so now here we are going to check so here you can see we got this old record now i am going to add one new record for testing role as a user and save yeah so now you can see here we are getting message but when you are going to refresh next time you got that record after refreshing the page so also we can do one thing here you can see we got this success message after this success message we can give timeout so set timeout now here we are going to give function here three second so after three second we are going to refresh this page so window dot location dot href is equal to same thing yeah oh so window dot location dot href is equal to window dot location dot href so it will refresh the same page current page same page after three seconds so now we are going to check test 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 and here user now i am going to give save so here you can see we got message and after three seconds you can see message is gone means page is refreshed so here you can see we are getting this message so this way we can refresh the run page now we need to write coding for this edit and delete so first of all we are going to write code for this delete so it is very easy here in delete i am going to create one page delete user.php and here i am going to pass id Eco dollar row ID. So we need to create this name page. So right click, new, here PHP file, delete user dot PHP. In this file, we don't need any types of design. So directly, I'm going to write include connection file. Now we are going to get ID, which we pass here. So I'm going to fetch that ID and now we need to write here delete query. So mysqli underscore query dollar link and here delete from user underscore our table name is user underscore registration. where id is equal to dollar id so this record is deleted after delete this record we need to go back on our page so here i am going to write text javascript and here window location is equal to add underscore new underscore user dot php so now here you can see i am going to delete this record test delete you can see test record is deleted so this way you can generate this delete functionality so now in next video i am going to show you how you can perfect perform 
this edit operation perfectly so i hope you understand these things thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again